In fact, let me finish the narration I started about how the nations will come around the Muslimin. The Sahaba radiallahu anhum asked the Prophet sallallahu why will that happen? Amin qillatin nahnu yawma idhin ya Rasulallah. Is it because we will be small in number, O Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that they will trample all over us and try to oppress us and they will start fighting us? He says, no, innakum yawma idhin kathir. On that day, you will be large in numbers. But you will be like the froth of a flood. You know that right at the top, you have all this white. I can explain it to you with the example of Coke. You know when you pour Coke into a glass, you find the froth goes right to the top. But when it settles, how much Coke is there? Nothing. We could use that with little children before. Hey, I filled your glass. There's nothing inside there. When it settles, hey... There's nothing in here. So what will happen? You're big in number, but the real mu'minin are very small in number. You see, everyone else is like the froth. When the cracks come, when the crunch comes, everyone is gone. There's only a little band of people remaining. So the Prophet ﷺ says, you will be large just like that. You see, bukumul wahnu, and something called wahn will overtake you. What is wahn? He says, hubbud dunya wa karahiyatul maut. The love of this world and the the hatred of death, detesting death. We will not die under any circumstances. Wallahi, death is in the hands of Allah. He can take you at any time. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take us in a condition that He is pleased with us. It is not good. It is not good enough to think that I am healthy. Let me sin. Let me go here. Life is not about sinning. Aren't you fed up of sinning? Life is not about everything here and there. No, life is not about fulfilling all your desires in a haram way. No, life is about discipline and the pleasure of Allah. Can you build your akhirah? If you can, you are successful. Look, anything you want in this world, you need to work hard to achieve it. So what about that which you want to get in the akhirah? You need to work even harder to achieve it. Subhanallah, you want a large building, you want a school, you want something for your children, you need to work morning to evening, you will get something. So why don't we work morning to evening for Allah so that we get something in the akhirah? And we do not go against the rules of our bosses at work, otherwise they will fire us. Why then do we go against the rules of Allah who is the ultimate boss? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us understanding. Another prophecy of the Prophet sallallahu there will be lots of policing, policemen, many gendarmes, you know, policemen, military men, too many of them. And there will be many people to help those who are oppressing and not those who are oppressed. So you find an oppressor oppressing, he'll have a lot of support, a lot of support. But you find the one who is oppressed, nobody will even come to help him. It's happening on an individual basis, on a community basis, as well as national basis, international basis across the globe. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us. All policing, you see, it's become a police state. Do you know why? Nobody's honest anymore. Police state to the degree that the police themselves are not honest. Hamiha, haramiha. The people who are supposed to protect you are the actual criminals. That's also something that we need to think about. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us protection. Another sign of Qiyamah. People will not want to know one another. Even brothers, they won't want to know one another. Something bad happening to you there, the people will walk away and then let you deal with your own crisis on your own. You are your own man. When something bad happens to them, you walk away. You know what is the minus point regarding this? What is the loss? When you destroy a person individually, it's very easy to bring him down. But wait, when 20 people come together, you cannot bring them down as easily. This is why when we are united as an ummah to bring us down, is almost impossible. But the minute we are split into groups, the enemy does not need to do any more work. Each group is fighting each other. This is what happens. Start fighting one another. That is also a sign of Qiyamah, where our own Ummah will be engaged in shirk. This is what the Prophet ﷺ says. People who claim to be my followers will actually be mushriks. They will actually be people who worship everything and anything besides Allah, together with Allah, and they will not even think for a moment that what we are doing is wrong. And they will call themselves my ummah. That is a sign of qiyamah. 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. This is why we say, the most valuable gift you ever have is the fact that Allah has protected you from shirk. Why do we say that is the most valuable gift? That is what Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa came with. And that is the thing that will save you from Jahannam. إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَغْفِرُ أَنْ يُشْرَكَ بِهِ وَيَغْفِرُ مَا دُونَ ذَلِكَ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ Allah will not forgive shirk. He tells you, you want to associate partners with me in worship? I'm not going to forgive that. If you die without repenting, I'm not going to forgive that. And besides that, if you die without repentance with any other sins, if I want, I can forgive anything and I can even grant you paradise through my mercy, no matter what. So this is one major point that is an obstacle between us and entry into paradise. We need to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to open our doors. So the Prophet sallallahu says thereafter, adultery will increase and the number of women will be multiplied to the degree that they will be 50 times more than men. Adultery will increase. Why? 50 women will be fighting for one man. One man fighting. You know why? Many reasons. One is shortage of men. Secondly, shortage of good men. It's a problem. Because why? Sometimes, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors. And I say this because it's a fact. To marry a married man is better than to marry a single man who is a drug addict. Believe me. This is why the doors of polygamy need to be opened and opened very wide. Remember my sisters, it might be a bitter pill to digest unless you or your sister or family member is affected. It is coming, it will come. But the brothers, the difficulty we have, we do it in the wrong way. And that is why our sisters are not prepared to accept it. Not because Allah decreed and not because it is this and that. No. The way we choose to do it is absolutely unacceptable in 99% of the cases. So it is something balanced. We cannot blame one another. But at the same time, we need to go back and see where we're going wrong. And we need to realize there are hundreds of thousands of women who do not have spouses for one of two reasons. Either there are no men or either the men available are not good enough. They're not marriage material. My sister, I promise you, you'd rather be single than to be married to a man who's going to make your life a mess. Believe me, it's a bigger gift to remain single and inshallah to get into the akhirah, to choose whom you want than to be here in the dunya, married to someone who has made your life such a mess that you have become a patient on medication of a psych psychiatric nature. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect our brothers and sisters and may he grant us happiness in our marriage. That brings us to another sign of the hour. Lots of divorce. Do we not see? Today, when people get married, it's no longer, hey, they've been living for so long. It's how quickly the divorce took place. Allahu Akbar. One man, true story, got married. Boy got married to his love for the last eight years. On the table, as they were having this walima of theirs, he says, pass me the salad. She says, who the hell do you think you are? You think you're going to give me instructions to give you things like this when we're married? Allah, Allah, Allah. Like a little chicken sounding. Have you heard the sound? Quack, quack, quack. Sounds the same, isn't it? May Allah protect us. A'udhu billah. Wallahi. And this is a function where people came to celebrate the getting together of them. They were separated in this country. May Allah protect us. May Allah grant us ease and goodness. Wallahi, my brothers and sisters, we don't know why we get married. That's the problem. Why do you marry? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness and understanding. You want a good man. My sisters, are you worth being in his family? That's the question you need to ask. We all want good spouses, don't we? Well, are you good yourself to fit that position? Perhaps you might enter there and you might be a very big means of destruction. So that is why work on your own character. Be a person who is ready to sacrifice. Without sacrifice, a marriage doesn't work. And divorce is a sign of the hour. May Allah protect us.
Thank you so much for listening to the short message. I pray that it has increased you in a little bit of motivation and hope. And the same applies to all of us. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.